and through releasing that and processing that and letting it go, the fear dissipates with that. And it's doing this work. I love doing this work, but doing this work still blows my mind how crazy tangible results can come through mindset work. Like it's amazing. It's incredible. The work that we can do through understanding the power of the mind and how we can reprogram and rewire the mind to be in agreement with our conscious desires. What's up, what's going on? My name is Sabrina and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Here in the Better You space, we teach creatives, dreamers, and entrepreneurs how to make their daydreams their real daily lives. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to move through the fear of success. And you can use this in reference to a lot of other fears that may come up for you too. If you like what you hear today, please give this video a thumbs up to help with the channel. I would love you for that subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new one if you like this kind of stuff. If you're looking for a deeper transformation, feel free to check out our signature program, Unleash Your Life, or my private one-on-one -on -one mentorship packages. I'll leave the links for those in the description below. And with that being said, let's get into it. So when you have fears, whether this is the fear of success, fear of failure, fear of being seen, anything, right? On a subconscious level, your body is going to resist taking action the action that will move you forward. This is because your mind on a deeper subconscious level has this understanding that something negative will happen when this happens and your body is just trying to keep you safe. And so that's where this mental resistance will come in that I've seen a lot of people in my audience struggle with and I've struggled with a lot in my past too. And this can get really difficult when you consciously, with all of your conscious might, really want to progress in life, to build up a clothing brand, to create a yoga studio, to become a music producer, to start an online business, whatever it is you want to do. You might have these goals and consciously really, really want them, but subconsciously keep sabotaging. You keep resisting getting there because of these fears. So how do you get rid of this? I have been studying neuroscience and neurolinguistic programming, NLP, and human behavior for like since 2018, right? And from this, I have learned that beliefs and emotions are really tied together. Like the more emotion you have behind a belief or a fear, the stronger it'll be. The more you believe something to be true, aka believe that you will fail or believe that something negative will happen when you succeed, the more emotion you're going to have behind it. And it's like this constant cycle. So when it comes through moving through these bigger fears that come up for a lot of people, something we can do is working on neutralizing the emotions behind the fears. Now, I've studied a lot about emotions too and like the science behind emotions so much so that I have holistically healed myself from chronic depression and chronic anxiety from my studies and implementations. And I found that in a lot of ways to successfully move through these emotions that come up with these fears is to let your body process it, to let yourself feel it, to let these emotions flow through and out of your body. And this is what I did with one of my clients. Now, she, want, she came to me, she wanted to work with me because she has these really big, ambitious goals and this really, really big vision to be you know, one of the top people in her industry. But she had these fears of success and it was linked to certain things that happened in her past and she was worried that certain people from her past were going to try to sabotage her success when she hit this level that was going to be inevitable for her to hit. And she would try to be studying for this like big board exam in order for her to be recognized as one of these top people. And it started to become really difficult for her because of this subconscious fear. So I'm gonna tell you what I did with her so that you have an idea of what you can do for yourself. So we brought up the fear, we brought up exactly what was stemming it, and we just brought it all to the surface. We were talking about it, letting those feelings and emotions really surface to the forefront. And then what I did was I took her through an EFT practice. Now, if you're not familiar with EFT, it's emotional freedom tapping or emotional freedom technique. You can look it up. It's like a combination of modern psychology and ancient Chinese acupressure. But basically you tap, if you're not familiar with it, you tap on these different points of your face and a little bit on your body, like collarbone. And and through tapping these points, you're able to really release these emotions. It's like these specific acupressure points on your body. 
Now, EFT is so powerful, it's been used to treat like PTSD and depression and OCD and obsessions and like so many things because it's that powerful in neutralizing the energies or emotions behind things. And so we brought up that emotion that that the fear of success was stemming from. And I took her through a round of EFT, tapping on these different points, literally just expressing how she was feeling. And we held space and allowed for these emotions to come up and get out. And there was anger. There was there were feelings of betrayal. There were feelings of resentment, feelings of just being let down. And it's important when you do this practice to not judge what emotions come up, to not judge any thoughts that come up. Just notice it. Just observe it, right? The mind can get really crazy at times and we don't want to like fully identify with everything that comes up from it. And if you don't feel called to EFT, you can do this journaling too. Like you can journal out how you're feeling and get the emotions out. Through getting the emotions out and letting the body process the emotions, so just be expressing or crying or yelling or like scribbling really crazy in your journal, but letting this emotion, this energy in motion to really flow through and out of you, then you are neutralizing the emotion behind the belief, behind the fear. And you can, you know that you're doing work on this when you can, you can literally rate, right? Out of a one to 10, how strongly you're feeling about something. So if something's really bothering you, you can be like, oh, like it's eight or a nine or like a 10. And then as you continue to do these practices, EFT, you can find free EFT videos on YouTube. Literally just search up blah, 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 blah. EFT or like guided EFT. If you look up on YouTube, this guy named Brad Yates, he's been posting these EFT, these guided EFT videos for so many years. There are so many on there. So if you wanted to do a free one online, look it up. Try it for yourself. Really let yourself get into it and let yourself feel and release these emotions. And also do the Ho'oponopono forgiveness practice on what's coming up for you too, which I'll link. I made a tutorial on that forgiveness practice so long ago, but I'll link it above if you wanted a tutorial on that practice because that also helps to neutralize the emotions. I use that practice all of the time. Through rating how you're feeling out of a 1 to 10, you can actually see and sense the number going down. Now, the goal is to get the number to like a 3 or below so that it doesn't really have as much momentum behind your mind and body. But you need to really process the energies, the emotions that are coming up behind these fears in order to release that. And through releasing that and processing that and letting it go, your, the fear dissipates with that. So then what we did from there is we kept doing the EFT and we then programmed in how she wanted to feel about the situation, how she wanted to think about the situation, the state that she wanted to be in. And we did EFT and we tapped that in. We programmed that in. Through that one session of going through the emotions, and then tapping in how she wanted to feel, her fear of success literally went away in that one session. She messaged me and she was like, the way, like out of a one to 10, it's literally at a zero. Like I have absolutely no fear anymore. I know I have a strong support system. Like I I feel so confident in myself. I feel so good. That resistance towards taking her exams to be very well known in her industry that resistance transmuted into this fiery ball of energy of taking action and feeling excited to go after her goals. And we created that transformation through the transmutation of energy, transmuting her emotions, neutralizing the stuff that was stemming the fear and amplifying the positive stuff, the stuff that she wanted to become. And it's doing this work. I love doing this work, but doing this work still blows my mind how crazy tangible results can come through mindset work, can come through emotional regulation and not emotional regulation as if like you can't regulate your emotions, but emotional regulation as in just 
transmutation of energy to higher levels, if that makes sense. And just constantly up-leveling, up-leveling, up-leveling. Like, it's amazing. It's incredible the work that we can do through understanding the power of the mind and how we can reprogram and rewire the mind to be in agreement with our conscious desires. Because now, instead of her subconscious mind like resisting taking action and leaning away from all of her conscious goals and desires, now her subconscious mind, which controls 95% of your daily actions and habits and things, now her subconscious mind is aligned with her conscious desires and hitting her goals is effortless. She literally passed her first exam within the next week. Like she is on a roll now because we did that work, because we did that mindset work. And all you need to do is tip the scale. So right now, any kind of, I stand strong behind the belief that you don't need to fully get rid of your limiting beliefs to create the life that you want. The fears, the limiting beliefs, they only have more power over you when there's more momentum behind it than the positive belief. All you need to do is neutralize the emotion enough, create more momentum enough around the positive belief just to tip the scale. All you need to do is tip the scale on an internal, emotional, mental, subconscious level. Create more momentum towards what you do want to create and lower the momentum towards your fears and what you don't want to create. All you need to hit is that 51% of feeling aligned and really believing in yourself and understanding that it's safe to go in this direction, communicating to your mind and body on a subconscious level, on a cellular level, on a nervous system level, that it is safe to to be here, to step into your next chapter. So when it comes to moving through these fears, I want you to ask yourself, what emotions are behind this? Where does this stem from? What evidence and memories are behind this fear, creating this momentum behind it. Work on neutralizing that and then creating all of this positive emotion. Really rev it up. Creating all of the evidence that supports your new belief and tip the scale. Let your subconscious mind lean towards your goals rather than away from them. So I hope this video was helpful. Give you more insight on how to move through these fears that inevitably come up on your journey please let me know in the comments if you did if you made it to this point in the video go ahead and leave a black heart emoji in the comments below to let me know who made it to this point give the video a thumbs up if you liked it i would really appreciate it send this video to a friend who you feel may want to hear it again if you're interested in our signature program unleash your life or private one-on-one mentorship with me the links will be left in the description below and i will see you in the next one bye